There we go. It, it, let me bring up OBS to the top again so I can be sure that everything is working. Yep, there we go. Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... He is a mighty tired, painfully tired of the Lieutenant Rakir. Uh. Uh, all right, forgot something here. That's the window capture. Uh, okay, what's going on with this? Hmm? Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I was experimenting with the window captures again, and I forgot to hide them away, so they were... <laughs> They were basically showing the frozen version of the intro. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to Steamworld Dig 2, which, well, with the fourth stream of this, and likely the last, which means that this one will have gone. Oh yeah, we're already two hours longer than my original <laughs> game. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this will likely be the last stream of this. Yep. Though I'm not sure if we'll have enough time to start on Rayman. Yeah, unless we start finishing within 30 minutes, is I'm doubtful of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Mm, if you wonder why I'm so tired, uh, yeah, he he got to hear me swear a bit. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to put it out a bit. Uh, took me a little bit longer to fall asleep, but not too much. But then I woke up by idiots being loud. And later, 3 in the morning, all the way to bloody 5, I woke up, for the last one night, 4 or 5 times by bloody seagull orchestra, starting bloody 3 in the morning. Uh, and here's, here's the thing, I mean, I've been doing slightly rough sleep this whole week, except yesterday. But this time, yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, you can hear the effect after this week of bad sleep. Yeah. So, uh, wait, what can hear me sound? Uh, uh, is yeah, all the about frustration is clear. Yeah, but also, I think you can hear the tightness. Yeah. I think I got enough sleep so I can handle streams, and I did watch an anime on YouTube that did lighten my spirit up a bit, but. Yeah. Uh, I just hope uh, I can sleep proper this night. Okay, last time we disabled two of the three doomsday devices. Yep. And we're on our way to the last one. I yeah, uh, need to deal with these stupid cultists. Actually, no, we can't just <laughs> we can't just move on. From them. So, yeah, it's likely we'll be able to finish today. How quickly? We'll have to see, because I get the feeling towards the end, and I, when I originally played this game, I started to speedrun a bit. Another one of these. So our rocket got turned into a weapon, sort of. It basically gives us a fire shield. What is this one going to do? Ultra Composite Armor. Hey, that new armor is pretty sweet. Now you don't have to complain about getting smashed and stuff. I don't think we can be completely careless, but yeah, it does look really cool, doesn't it? She even got a new... <laughs> some new pieces. She has that collar, for one. Uh, I'll need to move out of this thing to see what else may have changed. You know what would, uh, would make it look even cooler? Flames. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, it's a color. Yeah, I've had the gauntlet as well. A yeah. little bit of that, at least. Uh, she, ba she basically got more trim. Also, uh, yeah, there's. I just looked at the mini map, and there's some very clear bit. And also, <laughs> this this area is in the shape of a shield. That's fitting. Uh, yeah. And wait, wait. Look at the mini map. Yeah, shield. No, not anymore. Yeah. Well, now you it really looks like a shield with uh, a handhold, if a bit you exaggerated. Mean a a what? Pop. I don't you think shields are supposed to hold me <laughs> I don't think shields are supposed to have cup holders. 
Yeah, but well, that's why I say you need a shield crowned cup. It looks more like a cup than a shield now. Okay. Armory entrance. Okay. Get that. But yeah, I'm 50% certain that we can complete the game today. We'll have to see. Hmm. Maybe similar to... Uh, mm, I, m I might play this game more as well. Or... Mm, um, if I play this more, it would be more off-stream with me trying to find the rest of the artifacts and such. Also, there's a bunch of the assholes around here. There's at least two of them. Also, I didn't really look, but I'm guessing... Okay, maximum potential. I think we got a few extra hearts from the armor. Let me actually see. Oh, there it is. Oh, or reduces damage taken. Okay, I, I like I said, I didn't really, I didn't really keep an eye on the health, so I was not looking for that at all. Hmm. Yes, since we're done with uh, Blast Brigade, I have uploaded but not yet published. The video of all the extras I found. Inner Sank, that's pretty close to each other, actually. And maybe I'll make a video of just finding the other stuff in this game as well. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see about either. Uh, we'll see about that. Like, I was thinking of maybe d doing a video on finding all of the other Blast Brigade uh, secrets and such. May have a bit of a 100% thing, maybe. That it would be showing all of them, since... I... I don't remember if I stored all of the footage from Blast Brigade. Hmm. Maybe I'll just leave it as is. Woo! It's the last one. Well, that was a big one. Yeah, the last one that we know of. This doesn't make any sense. I thought we'd, re we'd be rid of the earthquakes now. Yeah, I'm sure that was the last of these devices. And I've got a bad feeling about this. There are too many un unanswered questions. Doomsday cults and toxic jungles? Where's Rusty? Sure it's fishy. Maybe it's not Rusty? Maybe Rosie's wrong. Or she's not telling us everything. We need to go back to the Oasis and have a, and have a talk with Rosie. It was Rosie who pointed us to these things in the first place. Okay. Let's head on back then. Okay. Back to town. Okay. Not the biggest haul, but still a good one. A 95% boat. Say, the professor's getting her rocket ready for blast off. I thought she was just a nut job, but now I'm thinking she's got the right idea, see? Space is completely unexplored and ripe with new business opportunities. I've managed to build a new life out of nothing before, kiddo. If anything, I'm more prepared now than when I was a youngster. Oh, you've got something to say. And I don't like to bother the professor. Maybe I could ask her if I could just you know, take a look inside the rocket now that it's done. It's really, really cool, don't you think? Uh, Okay, one more for another blueprint. You know that last earthquake was stupendously troublesome. Maybe Professor Sherman is correct. We may all be forced to leave this planet. We're trying our very best to prevent that from happening. Having to learn how to map the stars might be a wonderful challenge, come to think of it. 
Bill just got one of two track mined with his maps and his artifacts. We've disabled all of the quake generators. My seismic readings have stopped jumping around and have homed in on a single point. That last quake came right out of China country. We really have to get back down. Uh, we have to get back uh, back down there and talk to Rosie. I think my rocket is ready. I just have some final preparations, and I can leave if I have to. That's anyone else? Okay, doesn't look like it. So let's get some. Oop, I've got some fantastic new upgrades available for you. Very high tech stuff. Okay, I think he basically says that whenever we hit a required level point. Okay, and I, yeah, I, I kind of forgot that I was saving up for this, and uh, that is, <laughs> that's a very expensive one. Okay, at least we can get this one. Uh, who put the long in the bomb? The uh, longer bomb beats me, but now your, <laughs> now your bombs fly even further. And we can get Sky Assailant, which should allow us to use it in the air. Yes, for three, uh, yeah, for three cogs. Okay. We've got max armor, we've got max bomb, max bag and pickaxe. Okay. Now before anything else, let's actually buy another cog from you, since we can. Let's see, how much is your next one? I'm guessing 100? Thought so. Okay. Mm. Let me do a quick dive in, just to get something that's worth three bucks. Uh, up there. Um, there we go. Then we can buy another cog and get the upgrade without having to uh, uninstall any something else. I do like that you get plenty of these cogs to play around with, that the game isn't too stingy with them. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how many maximum he'll, uh, he'll sell. Hmm. That might be an achievement for completely buying him out. Okay, cogs. And yeah, air, sky assailant. Let's you shoot pressure bombs mid-air, so take to the skies and release your bombs from a safe distance. I'm gonna recommend you to the mean spirit in the sky. Okay. Well, let's go see Rosie. What's stopping you? Come on. That's strange. The two back to the oasis isn't working. Fish here and fish here. Maybe the opening on that side is clogged? Just have to dig the last stretch to get back there. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, do you remember how they said uh, what the Rusty uh, told them they, what he will do? Uh, which one? I know uh, one was Rusty. looking for him to blow stuff up. So it. Uh, <laughs> When you met Rosie first time, she told uh, you that uh, Rusty threatened them to uh, collapse the entire cave on them. Yeah, then again, I don't think they'd need too much help with that, especially from Grandma. The entrance is blocked. Yeah, you think the earthquakes did this? We need to find another way in there and talk to Rosie. There are a lot of pipes around here. Maybe we can get in through the drains? I have a suspicious feeling that we'll find the other end of these pipes in the underground jungle. Yeah, that moon juice has been leaking in there, so yeah, one of these pipes has to lead there. Okay. But uh, yeah, it does look like the area caved in, or at least partially caved in, to cover the tube and the entrance, which be a bit specific. 
let's see. Ha oh, might it? Might that? I think that connects to the area in the center there. Okay. Hmm. Can I see Rock Hollow Rupture? It would be nice if I could see more, if I could expand the mini-map in here, but the map only goes to the world map. Then it then it'd be easier for me to see if there's any spots that I haven't been to yet, but let's... Let's give this one a quick run to see if I can find whatever artifact is here for that next blueprint. Uh, actually, I think I might have an idea of where it is. Oh, it's right there. Glowing goo. This looks so out of this world slimy, so resist any urge to put it in your mouth. <laughs> Steve, don't eat it. Okay, if that's a specific reference to something, it's escaping me. Ow. Okay. There's more reference to many things that they just shouted, Don't eat it! Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm actually surprised that we haven't made such a joke with the Minecraft slimes. And again, I don't think we've really encountered those too often whenever we play it. Well, for sure, they do look appetizing and... Uh... <laughs> they are basically like, uh... Yellow. <laughs> mobile jellies. Okay. More Hoarders map. Okay, next one at 21. Not that we'll get for that. Okay, what is this last one? Our latest one. Oh, reveal all resources on the minimap. That would be really useful for getting more, well, resources, but... Hmm. Uh, it'd still be useful since, well, we need quite a bit of money to max all of these out. Yeah. There's definitely another one for this one as well. We have to upgrade our water tank more? Uh, no, we got one level of that, and that was that. Oh dear, yeah, I think we know where we need to put the money on, for we... I feel like we need water. Perhaps, we'll have to see what we dig up while we're here. Actually, I'm half tempted to move some gear, some cogs around. So we can get that. Oop, almost got tripped on. Not the kind of drip that you want to be, <laughs> that you want to have, I think. Well, we also need a coin. There. More Zoinxium. I'll grab whatever we run across, but I won't go specifically looking for stuff. Sludge River Bend. Oh, uh. Okay, that's new. Can I move around? No, I cannot move around that. Okay. There. Okay, so we hit those with Protos and they break blocks. Oh, there's another thing there. You want it then? There. Bombs away. Hmm. Okay, but that that opens from. Is there anything else around hidden around here then? Hmm. Okay, there is a hidden passageway somewhere. Okay, the gem. Okay. Or... Oh, that, that, it's not even a hidden pass, it's just a shortcut. Okay. Hmm. How long do I hit that thing this way? Give me Why? a sec because I'm getting called down. Oh, alright.
back. Okay, Dora? I thought they were calling me down for another uh, of those ice cream tubs or, or something. Uh, but no, apparently we need to empty out this, the freezer some. So they basically just um, they basically just filled a bowl of ice of ice cream for me. Well, and themselves, of course. But that's still a bit more than I thought. Ice cream, okay. feast? What? Ice cream feast. No. Uh, uh, yeah. Either also, way, this is this is going to be a bit. Yeah, I, I, I saw something over there. Look behind the yell at the wall there. Yeah, it can be broken from the other side. So I guess yeah, we'll have to get in there from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Right. Still feeling around for any possible secret exits. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, that works with the dodge thing. Uh, were we supposed to find another way to dig around? Or wait? No? Hmm. Yeah, I think we're supposed to find... a oh, there we go. That is what we're supposed to find. There we go. Then that can get dropped down. And you can pause. But then there's this. Hmm. Mm. And I hear... A, I hear a cog somewhere. Uh, there. Does this all line up all the way back to the start here? Yes, it does. Okay. Going for the long throw. Or whatever you'd call that in rugby or whatever. Long pass. Yeah, long pass, I think. There we go. I would not know. Another one. Hmm. There. Hmm. And those still remain a problem. Hmm. How would I be able to hit that from the side? There's nothing to stand on to hit it. We can't push him either. So I don't actually know how we can get this cog. Hmm. Nope. Ah. A bad feeling I got uh, is still hanging around. Something is definitely not right. Rosie's got a lot of explaining to do once we get back to the oasis. Should have been more suspicious from the start. If you were, if you were more suspicious, then I'd probably still be alone in that temple. Now let's get out of this drain and see what's going on. Mm. Now I've got the stupid idea. What, you know, what if those shoes that one of them was looking for is just an artifact that's hanging around here? Okay. Yeah, no. Uh... Where's, where's everyone gone? This is creeping me out. We have to find Rosie and see what she's been up to. Okay, yeah, the place has definitely not collapsed. But it's been deserted. Uh Still something that can be found here, but another time, another day maybe. But this is now unguarded. This thing is looking really ominous when it opens. When it's open, but are you sure we need to go in there? I think we have to, Finn. Okay, let's see what that big shiner's got cooking in here. 
point of no return. The reactor. There's an entrance to Vectron here. Rusty? Don't. You really shouldn't have come back here. What are you doing? Let him go, Rosie. Do you know how many Shiners were hurt capturing him? He's a monster. Now he's just a battery in my mech suit, and I'm finally strong enough to keep your kind out. You lied to me. I used you. You were a tool, and I needed someone to disable those pesky devices. He built them to draw all the power from my fusion distillery, but no more. This reactor will keep me will give me what I need to control my kin. An endless supply of moon juice. They will have no reason to wander off. They will stay safe and show me the respect I deserve. Ah, so this is what you meant when you said China's were deranged and dangerous. The earthquakes. The reactor is unstable Vectron tech. No, you're unstable. I'm finally in control. You're insane. Enough of this. Yep, we were lied to. Yeah, those, those guys here have reasons. Good reasons, but not with good tech. Yep, do. Oh, great, she's got a terraformer. A terraformer is part of that thing, and hello there. Yep. yep. <laughs> One lucky hit with. I gotta hit twice there, otherwise I. Boo! That's a lot of bullets. Can't send all of those back. Holy. Can we use pressure bombs here against her? And there's the other one, Stabby. Wait, is this the final boss? Fine. Are you kidding me? Are we seriously gonna be able to finish this under 30 minutes, almost 30 minutes? Yeah, the jackhammer just bounces off. Oh, oh, bouncy balls. Guards? Yep. <laughs> There's the guards. Good. Taking quite a bit of damage. There's Grandma. This time with her fuse not lit. Yep. Actually, he just knocked those away. Okay. Should be safe in here. Just goes underneath her. Okay. Um. Ew. Yep, yep. Okay. Good thing I didn't get hurt. Scoop. Ow. From the the ass of there. Ew. Ow. Okay. She's making this personal or extra personal. I think it's a good thing that I bought the <laughs> bought the extra armor, huh? Yeah, holy! Wait, wait, what did you mean? You found it? Uh, that and bought extra as well. Uh, yeah. 
Knock, knock. Good. Yeah. The level is rising. Yeah, she's charging. Okay, those are a bit hard to dodge. And <laughs> okay, good thing that I brought that upgrade, huh? True survivor. Okay, let's get you out of that stupid thing. Rusty! The reactor going to blow. The quakes will destroy everything. You must get out of here. Scrap that. We'll make it out together. Hey, this thing is going haywire. Let's get out of here. Now. Professor Sherman's rocket. We need to get back up to town now. And yeah, we're slowed down because we're <laughs> we're carrying Rusty around. Oh, and that's no longer Moon Juice down there. Can't use the pickaxe. Come on, Fen, we have to hurry. There's no way we'll make it back to into the city like this. But I can get the two of you out in time. No way, I'm not leaving you down here. You can't go through uh, you can't go through this thing with us. There's no time to argue. There's no other way. You two get in here. Now Ben, I'll come back for you. I know you will. Now go! Round dot. Get out of the way. Mayors and child bots first. I'm sorry. I'm going as fast as I can. Calm down, folks. One at a time. Form an orderly line now in here. Hey, we ain't got time for lines. Just get into the get on into the rocket before this whole place collapses on us. Hold your jaw, son. We've still got bots down in the darn mine. We can't just leave folk behind. Mr. Heisenberg is ready to ignite the rockets, but I can hold off. Uh, but I can hold the launch for a minute or two. Then we have to blast off. Bleep blor blor <laughs> Yeah, you said, Mr. Barnacle. What? I ain't said nothing. What in tarnation? Oh, there you are, dearie. Thank goodness you're safe. Good show. I was worried that you'd get your, you'd got yourself lost. And I see you found that red scarf miner. Where's that glowing little friend of yours? It, it's a long story. I have to. Well, I'm happy to see you safe and sound, but I must stress that we really are out of time. Everyone aboard the rocket. Time for some Steambot space adventures. Yeehaw! Uh, where's the city girl? You mean village? Uh, yeah, the village. Uh, Captain, look at the time. Yep, 35 minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the cultists are happy. For about oh, two seconds. 
Am I getting good at guessing? It looks like. Yeah, that's the entire freaking planet. Boom. Yeah, Rosie had good intentions, but, well, we all know what they say about good intentions. They tend to pave... Ah, oh, there she is. They pay, tend to pave a road to uh, a particularly bad place. Uh, oh, that nasty little girl. Yep, I saw her. All they want to do is... Merchant. All they want to do is uh, make a permanent home for the Shiners. But they, she was blindly relying on very unstable technology. Yeah. And there we go. Yep. Together we are not alone. Dorothy and Rusty, oh, ready to mine the asteroids and whatever remains of the planet there are. It looks like some chunks did survive from the looks of it in the background there. Uh, if they ever do a Steam World Dig 3, I think it would be fun to have it be like mining asteroids. It's the only thing they could basically mine at this point. Um. Uh, um. Yeah, mining asteroids and planet shards, but I Let think it. at this point they probably sound, <laughs> count more as big asteroids. Here's the thing, Kevin. I recognize this scene, and I think I see a little bit of the other games where you're, you're all exploring these junks. So they uh, may have already beat you to it. Maybe. And yeah, this is why SteamWorld Dig Heist takes place in space. Which we showcased that one. Did we showcase both uh, both SteamWorld Dig Heist? No, SteamWorld Heist. And Steam Wolf Quest at different times? I think, we not, I think we have. Maybe? I know we haven't showcased all of them. Yep. <clears throat> and yeah, I, I, do need to get, I do need to get started on this ice cream because one of the two uh, cinnamon <laughs> uh, melts real fast. Gorge, <clears throat> gorge, 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 gorge. <laughs> so many Swedish names! <laughs> well, it was made in Sweden. <laughs> and, yeah. Personally, I gotta say that I do like... Uh, I do very much like the idea of a sheriff's. I do really uh, like the idea of... Uh, <clears throat> settings which take place in uh, on the remains of a shattered planet. Like, um... Uh, what is Spellforce takes place on a similar sort of setting, but a lot more fantasy. Office dogs? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I think most of the time they treat those settings more like Sky Islands. It would be interesting to have a game where you have different depths of those. Like, you yeah, have no. the outer ones that are a lot more survivable, and then you have layers above uh, and the below that, at the very least below that, that are a lot more inhospitable. Yeah, no, in Space Force, at least the first game, they pretty much call the things between the islands the elemental sea. Basically, if I was right, it's just... It, you, you can't sail on it, basically, without... Oh, it's really like the only way to go between the islands is by portals. Yeah. And looks like we got silver on everything but time. <laughs> and yeah, this is now the new main menu. <laughs> oh, or at least on these saves. Hmm. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I guess we have Todd. <laughs> or Rayman. Yeah. 
Okay, contact and credits, not much of extras. And let's see, if I hit this, we... Well, it will reset us back to before the planet went to hell. Actually, man, I can see why this, this game plays a took longer. You collected more artifacts, more of everything. Yeah, and Your I hit max level. was rushed. <laughs> yeah, with the other one, I must have started rushing at some point or another. <laughs> okay, but I do hope that we get to see more of Rusty and Dorothy in SteamWorld Dig Heist. Like, I'm... SteamWorld Quest seems to take place on an island, or at the very least, a very large planet shard. So I'm not really sure if that could be... if that is in the same timeline as uh, the Dig games and the Heist, presuming that Heist doesn't take place in a different timeline than... And again, I haven't heard anything about this series dealing with different timelines or something. Hmm. <laughs> Very suspicious coughing. Yeah, may see a little bit of a, what one of those things to Mr. Falcon. Uh, okay. No, yeah. Either way, that'll be it for SteamWorld Dig 2. And yeah, we'll <clears throat> we'll take a bit to set up Rayman, as in I'll actually change the title and the uh, <laughs> category this time. Though I'm not sure how long it takes for that to to be marked on Twitch. But yeah, I will end the recording and then we'll get do a bit of prep and good. Pardon? I might be eating this ice cream a bit too fast. <clears throat> yeah, I'll. I'll end the recording, change things around to Rayman, and yeah, then we'll get started on that. So, for everyone who has been watching just for SteamWorld Dig 2, thank you all for watching. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Yep. Yeah. See you next time, or see you soon. Yep. Yeah, that was me hitting my mug over here, the one from last time with the tea and such. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and sleep well. And watch out for seagulls, because Drakir really needs to hunt those things down. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm.